With the election less than two weeks away, the spotlight is on voter turnout. But voter databases could be skewed if those who have passed away are still on them. News 10's Kylie Thomas took a look into the process to remove them in tonight's Election Watch 10. Carrie Downey and her team know nearly every face that walks through their door. We do. Yes, we do. They're busy with early voters today, but year-round they work to remove any person who has passed away from their voting lists. We're probably the last people they think about because we don't send them checks or anything, so they don't think to notify us. The process to remove a deceased person from the voter database isn't as clear-cut as you may think. In Indiana, the health department or family is in charge of notifying the clerk's office when a person passes away. But in Illinois, the clerks are responsible for finding out that information themselves. We usually contact the nursing homes. We watch the newspapers. Um, try to get obits from there. County clerks work year-round to remove those who have passed away from their voting rolls. They're pretty good on Illinois deaths, but when they die somewhere else, it's kind of hard to find them sometimes. When someone moves away or dies without the family knowing, the election office may not find out immediately, meaning those who have passed away may still be in the database. A long process, but I mean, we work on it all year long trying our best to get them out of there. On Tuesday, a data analysis firm found 2,500 people over the age of 110 on voting lists in Indiana. These findings aren't targeted as voter fraud, but rather incomplete information on the Indiana voter database. No votes are being counted for those who have passed away. It makes it look bad, you know inflates your numbers and stuff. But it gives false results on the number of eligible voters who turned out to the polls. In a small county, because you have more of a handle on it, you know, maybe if you had 100,000 voters, it would be hard. A problem Carrie says they don't face, and that's the beauty of a small town. In Marshall with photojournalist Marty Ledbetter, Kylie Thomas, News 10. Illinois has recently created an inactive list to combat this problem. If a voter has not participated in the past two general elections, they're placed on the inactive list so voter turnout can be accurate.